I want to talk about the Ryan Paling extension a little bit um, because we talked about it briefly during yesterday's show, but we didn't really know the terms. Still not official, I don't think. Uh, the Flyers haven't announced no, it not. like they have Owen Tippett, but it seems as if it's a thing. Uh, two years, $1.9 million. Uh, he signed one times one and uh, or one point four last summer. Now they're extending him. What what do you make of uh, like two million bucks for two years of Ryan Paling? It's fine uh, to me. Like he was he was going to get a raise because he has played good. Like I think he's played better this year than he did last year. And last year, as you said, he got that particular cap hit. So he was going to get a cap hit higher than that if he was going to sign. Like, you're not going to be like, hey, Ryan, we love how you've played. Here's a two-year contract with a $1 million a year cap hit. Like, if you like how I play, then you should pay me more money. So he was going to get a raise. I don't think this is ridiculous. $1.9 million isn't ridiculous, especially with the cap going up over the next couple of years. I think it's going to look more and more reasonable over time. My big concern with Ryan Paling, and this is more of a torts concern, is... I do not think Ryan Paling is a top nine player and the insistence upon continuing to use him on one of the top three lines on a regular basis, I do not think is the right way to go. That said, in Tortorella's defense, when Scott Lawton is playing this crappy, I can understand why it's like, well, I might not love Ryan Paling in the top nine, but I really don't like this version of Scott Lawton in the top nine. So sure, you're a top nine guy for now. I am fine with this signing as long as Ryan Paling, for the most part, over these next couple of years, is using a fourth line role. I think he is a great fourth line center. I think he's a fantastic fourth liner. He's a really good penalty killer. I think he has been, I wouldn't say he's been incredible, but he's been impressive. He's impressed yeah. me this year. I think he's been good. But I think he's at his best in a fourth line penalty killing role. And as long as they use him in that role, like I'm, I'm fine paying a little bit of a premium for someone who I view as a really good fourth line center who's still in his mid-20s and maybe still has a little bit more upside. I just hope they aren't trying to shoehorn him into like the eighth or ninth forward role on this team over the next two years. I don't think he's that good. Uh, just because you mentioned Lawton, and that's kind of where I wanted to go with this, do you think that this signing in any way indicates maybe – Scott Lawton is more expendable or more likely to be traded now that they kind of have, now I don't believe he belongs in that role, but they kind of have a younger, faster version of how they've used Scott Lawton the last few years. Look, it's an interesting question. And I mean, I'm not going to lie. I've speculated the same thing in conversations up here in the press box. Like, I wonder what this means for Scott Lawton. The short, the, the real answer is like, I don't know. They could very easily keep Scott Lawton even while you've free signed Ryan Paling. I don't think it is – I don't think this is a case of you can only have one. I do think this this makes it easier if someone gives you a good offer for Scott Lawton. That makes it easier for you to consider trading because you have another center. You have another guy who can kind of be that Swiss Army knife type player. So I think it, it maybe opens the door a bit more. But I don't think this is like – I don't think they signed Ryan Paling because it allows you to then trade Scott Lawton. I think maybe it makes it more palatable to trade Scott Lawton if the right circumstances arise. But I don't think this is Danny playing three-dimensional chess and saying, well, if I sign Paling, then we can get a first-round pick for Lawton and then this, this, this. Like, If Lawton gets traded, the Paling signing probably was part of it but not because it was always the plan. It's just because Paling gives you more depth and allows you to survive, at least on the ice. Scott Lawton no longer being in the lineup because you have a guy who can play center, who can play wing, who can be a penalty killer. It doesn't kill you as much. Now, obviously, the big thing would be the off-ice concerns. Scott Lawton is one of the big leaders on the team, mm -hmm. still the only person wearing a letter. So I don't know if they would be willing to toss that aside. <laughs> on the ice, though, yeah, I mean, the Paling signing definitely makes it easier to swallow if someone blows you away with a trade-off for Scott Lawton. Sure. We all silly like the mayor.